Do you guys hate chrome on your window trim? I know I do. Me personally, I think chrome should be long on classic vehicles only, not newer vehicles. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to vinyl wrap your chrome window trim. Very simple, very easy, with very minimal tools. So, stay tuned and let's get right into it, guys. Hey everyone, my name is Ihab Halat. I'm so bad at keeping consistent with my videos, but man, I've been watching my YouTube subscribers go up. I'm at 5,500 now, guys, and I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you guys. I try to answer as much comments as possible. There are some haters out there, but hey, that comes with having a YouTube channel. So, I mean, I just wanna say I love you guys all. You guys are awesome. Thanks for supporting me. Today's video is gonna be something pretty cool, guys. Uh, the side window chrome on your vehicle. If you guys hate it, I'm gonna show you guys a pretty simple way to get rid of it. Um, you're gonna need some patience and uh, very minimal tools, guys. So let's get right to the vehicle. All right, guys, so here's what's needed to wrap your window trim. Over here, we got a knife. So that's gonna cut our vinyl. Over here, we got our tuck tool. So this is gonna tuck the vinyl in. Over here, we got a squeegee. Probably won't be using that, but I mean, you can if you want. Um, over here, this is the most important thing that we need is the finish line knifeless tape by 3M. So this is gonna cut our vinyl nice and straight so we're not going and cutting against uh, the car and you know, that can risk cutting the paint and whatnot. So we don't wanna do that. So knifeless tape, this is what it looks like. Um, this one, this roll's almost done. Um, Microfiber cloth um, and then our cleaning products here white bottle here We got our soap and water and then the rubbing alcohol is in the clear bottle there, and then we're gonna need a heat gun So this is uh, gonna heat up our vinyl and that's gonna lay it down properly stick it down to the chrome and then of course You need the vinyl So this is by Avery. Let me show you on the back there. So it's by Avery, it's very awesome vinyl. It's really great to work with. So this is the gloss black, and that gloss black is gonna be going on this window trim. First things first, soap and water. Spray it down, give it a little clean. Now we're gonna be cleaning obviously the chrome trim and then the surrounding areas. Okay, so that's done. Get our rubbing alcohol, which is hella important right now and very rare to find with this COVID-19 uh, pandemic going on. Now that it's all clean, it's dry, no dirt is on it, no grease, grime, anything like that. It's bone dry. We're gonna take our knifeless tape here and we're gonna run this knifeless tape on the outside of the trim and on the inside of the trim. When, once we do that, we're gonna lay down the vinyl and then this knifeless tape is gonna give us nice clean lines and cut the vinyl for us. So, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So here's the knifeless tape. I just wanna show you, see if I can get it to focus. This knifeless tape has a little band in there and that's what's gonna cut the vinyl. So I'm gonna lay it down and I'll show you guys how it works. Let me give you guys a closer look at what this looks like. So you guys see it goes all the way around. Stupid camera won't focus. Don't worry about the ends here. You have lots of room so you could just open the door and make a cut. But let me get in here and show you guys how it looks. So just like that, guys. Got the vinyl, peel it off. 
Let's make sure the whole chrome is covered. Just like that, and then just grab your hand. Grab your hand. No, but for real. Take your hand, and then just pat it down. This vinyl is very forgiving. If you have a wrinkle, just lift it up, press it down again. Just like that. Make sure you go around the edges. So now that it's laid down, I'll grab my heat gun. Put it on setting two. Just give it some light heat. You're gonna have to peel this back and see where our knife was is. Okay, so now here's how we get the knifeless tape out to cut the vinyl. Lift it up, put your thumb right there on it, and then you're just gonna pull. And it should come out just like that. I'll get you guys a closer look. So now it's cutting in the middle of the green tape. So now, Simple as one, two, three. All you do is just let the knifeless tape do its thing. Right now it's cutting the vinyl. Just like that. Check this out. Just like that guys, it makes your life so much easier. You don't gotta take a knife and you know, cut along it. I'm not the best with cuts, so I don't do that. And plus, you're not, you know, risking cutting up the paint or the rubber around the chrome. So it, it's very easy, very efficient. So same thing guys, put your thumb down, give it some pressure. Let it, let it do its thing. Just like that. Perfect. So this is where the tuck tool comes in handy. Just put it in between the black rubber and the actual chrome, and you just wanna tuck it in there. I like to run my nail along it as well. That kinda helps me. Now, sometimes I feel like my nail and my finger work better than the tuck tool but for those real tough areas, the tuck tool does come in handy too. And plus, you could go over it again with the tuck tool just in case you feel like your, your nail or your finger didn't tuck it well enough. So after you've made the tuck, grab your heat gun, and just go along it. I'm gonna put it on setting two, get it a bit hotter. So just heat and tuck. This is going to help secure it, make sure it's tucked down properly. And it, it shrinks it down to the, the chrome. So it shrinks around the chrome when you heat it up. Now the only things left to do is just cut the ends here. 
So here's what I do. Just gonna peel them back just so you can open the door. Same thing with the top one. Take some heat. Heat it up a bit, not too hot. And then you're just gonna stretch it around. Stretch it around. Press it down. Heat it up. Grab it, stretch it around. Grab your knife. And you're just gonna cut the excess off. Very, very light. Now there's a gap in between the chrome and the rubber here, so it makes it easy to cut it. So just like that, the excess is gone. Tuck anything that's sticking out. So that's really the only cutting you're doing on the vehicle. So now, the final step really, just apply heat on it again. Make sure it's all pressed down properly. There's the edges. So another another good thing about doing this too is the gloss black matches these pillars too. So the gloss black goes good with that. And those pillars too. So here's the other side that's that's done. So gloss black matches that, it matches the tint. And you guys see why I don't like chrome. It does not go with anything. Please guys, I understand why you guys are watching this video because chrome, it's gotta go. Let's finish the rest. This is gonna be the easier part to do. Uh, they're just straight across. So literally it does not take long. Watch how I do it and you guys will learn real quick that this is not a pain to do at all. Okay, let me show you guys a little close up. Very hard to tell, but if you guys can see, there's a little bit of black between the band and the knifeless tape and the chrome. So you guys get an idea of how to tape down this knifeless tape. So it's all the way along Grab your knife, make sure the piece is big enough to cover the chrome, obviously. And then, just give her a little cut. All right, so I cut my piece, peel it, and lay it. So just apply some light heat, run your finger over the vinyl, make sure it's tacked down nicely. Okay, now we got the heat down. Now we know what to do, guys. Knifeless tape. I'm go on this side to so show you guys. Knifeless tape doing its thing. Cuts it. And you can uh, peel it. When you peel this, guys, make sure you get both sides of the green. Sometimes some, one side of the green tape likes to stay under the vinyl there. So make sure when you're peeling it that both ends of this green come off and then just let it go. Once it makes it all the way to the end, peel it off. You could either use the tuck tool, you could use your finger, use a microfiber cloth, whatever, whatever you want, but start tucking this bad boy in. Same thing, grab some heat, Give it a little heat so you feel it stretching a bit. Wrap it around, just like that. This is the finished product, guys. 
all done, all wrapped, no chrome. And it looks beautiful. I don't do chrome, can't do chrome, never liked chrome guys. So if you guys don't like chrome, you guys wanna get rid of the black, or sorry, the chrome on your vehicle, on the window trim, you can do this. It's very simple, very easy, with a few tools needed and some patience. Thanks everyone for watching my video. If you enjoyed, please like it, subscribe for more videos, and comment down below on what you guys think of this video here. If you guys wanna check out my work as well, you can see all my wraps that I've done, from full vehicles to caliper wraps, to chrome deletes, to uh, wheel wraps, all that guys, check it out. Uh, follow me on Instagram, it is 780 Auto North. And then if you guys want to follow my personal Instagram, it's just my name, Ehab Halat. So thanks everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.